Good morning students, it's me, Teacher Richard, and you're learning English with me online. Because of COVID, you will be learning from home for three days. And today we will uh, learn five new words to do, not in our spelling books, but we have to write the five words four times every day and you can write anywhere but you should write the five words four times every day and you can take a picture and send to me but the important thing is that you do it and we will start on unit three in our student book on the farm so we will learn about some animals and today we will do the conversation. That's my plan for today. Let's say good morning. Can you repeat after me? Good morning teacher Richard. How are you? Good morning student. I'm great. Please sit down and repeat after me. Thank you, teacher. And let's start the lesson. Please follow me. Before we start with the five new words for this week. I want to see if you remember the words we were supposed to have this week on the spelling test. So I will ask how to spell student. And I want you to please spell student. Can you spell student? Please look at the computer and repeat after me. S T U D E N T student. And can you can you spell name? Name is spelled N A M E name please spell cloud cloud is spelled c l o u d cloud can you spell kite kite is spelled k i T E kite. Another good word is number. What's your student number? Let's spell number. Number is spelled N U M B E R number. That's five words. Let's do five more. Please spell lake. Lake is spelled L A K E lake. An easy one. Let's spell key. Key is spelled K E Y key. You are in first grade. Can you spell grade? Grade is spelled G R A D E. Grade. Two more words. Do you see the garden? Garden and they have the barbecue in the garden. Can you spell garden? 
garden is spelled G A R D E N garden. And the last word is a long word with nine letters. It's butterfly. When you have long words, remember to split the word into parts. So let's spell but ter fly butterfly butterfly is spelled b u t t e r f l y butterfly that wasn't easy you can split words into syllables and it's easier to spell and to say so that was the spelling test for this week and I will do the spelling test on Thursday when you get here. So on Thursday we will do the spelling test. Now I will show you the five new words for this week and you can practice the words at home. Just write the five words four times every day and it should take like five minutes maybe it shouldn't take a long time just focus on writing nicely focus on the letter and maybe even say the word say it slowly try to listen to the letters that's my tip let's look at the five new words follow me please hey ho let's go Let's look at the five new words for this week and I want you to write these five words four times every day. The words are quiet, like please be quiet, don't talk, quiet, quiet is spelled Q-U-I-E-T, quiet. And then I want you to write the word sorry. Sorry. I'm so sorry. It's a bit more than excuse me. It's when you're very sorry. Sorry you did something. You can say it if you made a mistake. Sorry. Repeat after me. Sorry. Sorry is spelled S-O-R-R-Y. The next word is OK. I'm OK. And sometimes when you're European you do this. I'm OK. I'm OK. I'm good. I'm OK. OK is spelled O-K-A-Y okay the fourth word is listen listen is spelled l i s t e n please listen and you can listen to music and you can listen to me when i talk and when you listen to me talking, I like to see your eyes. And the last word is what's? What's this? What's that? What's up? What's is spelled W H A T S. What's? What is? It's a compound of what is two words in one what's and that's the five words for this week please practice them that's homework practice the words write them say them repeat five minutes homework Let's look at the conversation, the last part for this lesson. 
come here. So let's do the conversation on page 9 in your student book. And you can look in your student book at page 9 or you can look at the computer. I will show on the computer and you can look in your book as well. The first thing I want you to do is listen and repeat. Please listen and repeat. A. Listen and repeat. Shh! Be quiet! Sorry. Very That's good. That's okay. Let's do it one more time. Please repeat after me. Shh! Be quiet. Sorry. That's okay. Okay. Please listen and find the speakers. Please listen and see if you can find the two boys speaking. B. Listen and find the speakers. Be quiet. Sorry. That's okay. Okay. Did you find the two boys? One boy is hammering with a hammer. And I think he's about to wake up the puppies. So that's the conversation we need to do. Um, let's do it. One more time, follow me please. Repeat after me. Shh. Be quiet. Sorry. That's okay. And the last thing I want to do today is find things on the page. I want you to listen and find the speakers. Can you listen and find these speakers? Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. It's the worms. Can you see the worms on the bottom of the page? Can you find the turkey? The turkey is a big bird. Can you find a big bird? And the turkey, where is the turkey? The turkey is next to the boy with the hammer. And I want you to find two more things. Can you find the goat? The goat is on the hill and he's eating something. There's the goat. And I have one more thing for you to do. Can you find a bone? There is a bone in the picture. Please find the bone and if you can find the bone you are very good and if you want to I'd like to know where the bone is on YouTube so you can write under comments on YouTube and tell me where is the bone the big bone diggers bone and it's a little bit difficult to find so don't give up look everywhere and find the bone and you are an excellent student if you can find the bone in the picture and that's all for today please do the spelling words the five words
quiet, sorry, okay, listen, and what? Practice the conversation a few times. Shh, be quiet. Sorry. That's okay. And find Digger's bone. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye bye, my friends. Love you. Goodbye.